He says, he he calls them where they are, but he says, follow me. That's important. And the church needs to follow him. So there's a call right where we are. There's a call to follow. But look at this. There's also a call to use your gifts. He look what he says. He says that he, they're, they're called fishermen in the text. That's a noun. But Jesus says, I'm going to turn you into fishers for people, which is a verb. Hear me here. What is he saying? He says, all right, you know something about fishing. And that same mindset, I'm going to help you use to do it for people. I said, okay, what do you mean, Pastor? They knew something about nets. Can I talk about nets for a second? You had to do a couple things with nets. You had to clean a net, you had to mend a net, and you had to cast a net. Well, if they cast a net, oftentimes they would cast a net with they had a circular net and they would throw it out while they're out in the water. And they would take that net and they would, you know, cast it out and they would go in and they would pull that net and pull whatever they got and that would be how they would catch that. Now they would sometimes drag those nets once they got into the shore. They would, once they, because they dragged the nets, they would catch a whole lot of stuff in the net. So what they had to do was before they went back to cast it again, they had to take all the garbage out of the net that they may have dragged in the net. One time I was on the James River and we dragged the James just for, and we, and we caught some fish in there, but we caught some stuff that you wouldn't want to eat. And so before we threw the net back out, we had to take all of that stuff out of the net and make sure the net didn't have any holes in it. And if the net had any holes in it, we took some string and cut, connected the holes in the net and, and tied them back together because we didn't want to lose any fish on the next cast. And so, beloved, when you, you know, you got a cast in there, let me help you with the casting. You, don't, you never cast a net near the shore. Every now and then, some fish swim near the shore. But most of the fish, you got to go out a little bit. And church, can I help you? We, we are not, we're, we won't, we're not going to catch a whole lot of folk with just a sign on the building that says Second Baptist Church. Now, we're, now, we're going to catch a few folk that are going to drive by and, be, and they just happen to catch a few folk. But most of the way we're going to catch some folk, amen, is to cast a net a little further from the shore, amen. That means we got to go out a little further and throw our nets a little deeper in deep water because the big fish don't swim in shallow water. The deep fish are out, out there on jet. Jeff Davis somewhere, on Broad Rock somewhere, on Broad Street somewhere. We got to cast the net a little further from the shore because you never cast your nets close to the shore. Oh, y'all got that? So that's casting the net. But you got to clean your net. <sighs> See, the problem is some of our nets have junk in them. that if we throw that net back out there with that junk, it's going to mess the net up. And it's going to cause holes in the net. And holes are going to allow fish to swim through. See, what the church has to be careful about is nets with trash that hurt the catch or allow the catch to swim through. Okay, y'all didn't like that. See, our nets have to be, we have to cast nets of love, nets of forgiveness, nets of kindness, nets of mercy, nets of grace. Those nets have a tendency to catch fish. But nets of evilness, of meanness, or ugliness, or all that kind of stuff, those nets don't catch anything. Matter of fact, those nets do more harm to the catch, amen, than what they were supposed to say. Oh, y'all, y'all missed that. Is that the church oftentimes, because the nets we use have some junk in them, instead of catching fish, we've hurt fish. Oh, y'all missed it right there. And so a good fisherman knew that before he cast that net out again, he made sure the nets didn't have anything in them that would damage his catch because the catch was too important to have something in the net that would mess up the catch. And beloved, we got to be careful. That's why we got to reevaluate our lives on a daily basis. Is there anything in me that
says not of you because I am not trying to lose any fish today. I'm not trying to lose any souls today. I'm not trying to miss anything coming my way that you wanted me to catch because I had a messed up net. My net had holes in it or my net was dirty or my net had junk in it. And the problem is a good fisherman checked his net every day. A good fisherman cleaned his net every day. That means a good fisherman calls on the Lord and says, Lord, clean me up, fix me up, make me brand new because I want to be a good fisherman. I can't catch any fish with a bad net, with junk in my net. I'm dragging all the time. See, you got junk in it. it ain't, it's going to mess up. It's going to tear the net, and you're going to lose fish. In the church, we sometimes lost fish because we've got some messed up nets.